Hello! Time for me to answer some of your questions. And I got loads and loads of questions, so thank you so much for sending those in. I have them all here on my phone, so I'm just going to go through them. The first one is, what's a book character you once hated but have changed your mind on? And I'm actually not sure that I have an answer to this that I can give. Spoiler free? So I am going to say that there's a character in Scythe that I used to hate and now I loathe. I'm sure that's not quite what you meant but that's what I'm going to go with. The next question is what is a book, movie or TV show that never gets old and always makes you feel better when you're feeling down? And aside from the obvious Harry Potter, I'm going to go with Grey's Anatomy, which is a TV show that I first started watching when I was maybe 16 and I'm now 29 and I've re-watched every single episode countless times. I honestly have absolutely no idea how many times I've watched that show over and over and over again, but I love it. I love all of the characters, I love all of the storylines, it's so familiar to me now that it's really really comfortable and easy to watch, and if I need something to while away a few hours, that is generally what I will put on the TV. Not that I watch much TV these days, but if I were going to watch TV, that's probably what I'd pick. Next up, what is your favourite way to consume books? Physical, ebook, audiobook, whatever. And actually recently I've discovered that reading physically while listening to the audiobook at the same time is so immersive and really, really great fun. So I'd say that's probably actually my favourite way to consume a book. But aside from that, if I'm reading a book for the first time, then my favourite way is to read physically with a physical book and if I am rereading then my favourite is to listen to the audiobook. The next one is over the years how have I noticed that my reading tastes have changed and I think that I used to exclusively read fantasy and I hope that I'm getting a bit better about branching out. I did go through a period of time where I was obsessed with paranormal romance and that was all I read so I used to read only fantasy and then only paranormal romance and then only fantasy and now I try to read from lots of different genres. Fantasy is still my favourite but I do try to read some other things as well and I've actually recently discovered an enjoyment for historical fiction. I think what it is is I just need to stay away from historical fiction that focuses on either World War I or II. If it focuses on something else then there's a good chance I'll enjoy it. What was one book that you felt changed your life for the better? Hmm, this is a really tricky one. I think there's lots of ways that this question could be interpreted. The Hobbit was the first ever epic fantasy book that I ever read, I think, so that sparked my love of fantasy, so there's that. Uh, there's the Chronicles of Ixia series by Maria V. Schneider, which is my favourite book series and is a book series that got me back into reading again after a pretty long reading slump. There's Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, which is a contemporary book and was probably the first contemporary book that made me realise that actually I like contemporary. And Romanov by Nadine Brands did the same thing, but with historical fiction. So I don't think I could narrow it down to just one book. There's lots of moments that make me realise things about myself in reading and I really love that about books. Then you're asking me the hard questions. If I could only read one book series for the rest of my life, what would it be? And it would probably have to be The Chronicles of Ixia by Maria V. Schneider. Luckily there are nine books in the series, so it would keep me going for a while. Although having said that, I also really love The Black Dagger Brotherhood and have reread that a lot of times. And it's still being written. So if I'm allowed to include 
an unfinished series and when books come out in that series those are included then probably the Black Dagger Brotherhood which is not necessarily my favourite series of all time but it is one of my favourite series of all time and I think there's currently 15 books and they're still being written so that would keep me going probably I think. Another really difficult question if I were in Mistborn and I were a misting, which allomantic metal would I want to be able to use? And this is really unfair because I would want to be Mistborn because then I could be like Vin and would be really, really cool and a massive badass. But if I can only be a misting, I suppose I would have steel and be able to steel push, I guess. If I could adapt any book into a TV show or film, I will direct you to a video that I have coming later on this week. And for that reason, I will answer your second question, which was, which book character do I think I most like? And to be honest, I wish I were as cool as the characters in the books that I read. The truth of the matter is that I'm really not, but I think the character I relate to the most is Hermione from Harry Potter because she is very pedantic, which guilty as charged, and a bit of a bookworm, which duh, and a bit of a know-it-all and definitely in school I was really really annoying in that way. So probably Hermione Granger. If I were to have a dinner party and invite 10 fictional characters, who would I invite? and why. I would invite Winnie the Pooh because he was my favourite fictional character when I was younger and I would want to give him a hug and a massive pot of honey. I would invite Howl from Howl's Moving Castle, specifically the Studio Ghibli film because I love him. I would invite Kaladin from the Stormlight Archive because again he also needs a hug and I just want to give him that hug, you know? He, he just needs a little bit of that moral support. How many is that? Three. Um, I would invite Aiden from the Illuminae Files. Probably not a wise move, but I think that it would be interesting to see what he would do. I would also invite Vin from Mistborn because I think she's amazing and also I kind of want to see how her and Kaladin would get on with each other. I think that that would be really really fascinating. How many is that now? Five. Gosh, ten is quite a lot isn't it? Um, Yelena from Poison Study or the Chronicles of Ixia because it's my favourite book series ever and I would like to meet her and she should have to bring Valek as well because he's a pretty cool dude. So that's seven. Luna from Harry Potter. Luna Lovegood. She's amusing. I feel like she could bring some fun vibes to this fictional dinner party. Nick and Charlie from Heartstopper because they're so flipping cute and I just want to watch them be cute. Is that weird? I hope not because just yeah. And the last one. Who would I invite? Oh do you know what? I would invite Dolores Umbridge just so I could punch her in the face and then kick her out because she's an odious, odious human being and I hate her a lot. I'm not a violent person, I actually probably wouldn't punch her, but I would kick her out. What is my favourite wine? And actually I'm not a big drinker, I don't like wine, I don't drink a lot of alcohol at all, I've probably had one alcoholic drink so far this year but my alcoholic drink of choice if I do drink is amaretto. What is my favourite snack to have whilst reading? So probably either a cup of tea if it's in the morning or if it's in the evening chocolate. When I was younger what did I want to be when I grew up? So from the age of 11 I actually wanted to be a lawyer and then I did go to university to study law and I did become a lawyer, I became a solicitor in fact and I practiced as a solicitor for three years and then I decided that I wanted to have a bit of a change and now I teach law to prospective barristers on a postgraduate law course. So yeah, 
If I were going to create my own book subscription box, what would I call it? This is really difficult. I am so terrible at naming things. It took me ages to come up with the name for this channel. So I'd probably just call it like Sophia's Thoughts Box or something. I actually did make a fake subscription box for my sister for Christmas, which I just called Natalie Loot because her name is Natalie. So you see, I'm very much not a creative person. So I don't know. What made me decide to start a booktube channel and were there any early struggles? I I don't have anyone really in my social circle who reads, although my sister has started reading a lot more recently. When I started booktube I was very much the only person I knew that liked to read voraciously and so I discovered booktube and it was just this really amazing place where everybody reads books and talks about them and I wanted to be part of that community and be able to talk to people about the books that I'm reading and in terms of struggles I suppose the struggle that I had at the beginning is the struggle that I still have now which is like I said before I'm not a super creative person so coming up with video ideas can be really difficult for me so I think that was and still is the thing I struggle with the most about my channel. What is one book I read last year that I wish I could erase from my memory? And I don't know if this counts because I started it in 2018 but I did finish it in 2019 and it was the only book that I truly hated last year and that was The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab and it still makes me angry when I think about it so I wish I could erase that from my memory but make sure that it's not on my TBR so I don't be tempted to read it again. <laughs> and I suppose a similar question is if I had the power to erase one book from existence, what would it be and why? And I feel like all books have their place but I'm sure that there are lots of very offensive books out there that deserve to be unpublished. Uh, so I haven't read any of those luckily because I try to stay away from that kind of thing. I wouldn't want to support that kind of publication but I guess one of those. Have my reading habits changed since I'd started my YouTube channel? I think I read more than I used to which is amazing. I really really love that. Like the, ye I, the year I started booktube I read 77 books and then last year I read 151 and that was my full my first full year doing booktube and this year I'm up to 45 so far so I definitely am reading a lot more and I'm reading a lot more broadly as well so I'd say that's that's something that's changed. Which book would I like to inhabit if possible? Uh, I don't think I'd want to really inhabit any of them because lots of pretty awful stuff is happening in most of the book worlds that I read. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean I suppose the natural answer to this is the magical world of Harry Potter but after Voldemort's been defeated so that I can go to Hogwarts and enjoy all of the magic without you know fearing for my life so I guess that. <laughs> if I could rewrite the ending to any book what would it be and why? Uh, I think I would rewrite the ending to the Forest of Hands and Teeth series because it was a really really great series about zombies but the ending was just so rubbish and it really ruined the series for me which is a real shame so I would rewrite that so it was less rubbish. I mean I don't know how I'd rewrite it because I just don't but <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd rewrite that one. If you could learn to do anything, what would you most want to learn how to do? And I would want to learn how to speak Japanese. Which video to date that I've made has been my favourite? I think this would either be my end of year wrap up for last year or my most recent 
bookshelf tour, both of which I will link for you. What is my favourite film adaptation? And that would actually be the Hunger Games trilogy. You might think that I would say Harry Potter, and I do really really love Harry Potter as well, but there's just something about the Hunger Games trilogy they did so well with those films. They're so true to the books and they left out virtually nothing, whereas with Harry Potter they had to leave out loads, and they just didn't do that with The Hunger Games, so that one. Which five female characters are my favourites? Hermione Granger, Vin from the Mistborn series, Yelena from Poison Study, Rhapsody from the Symphony of Ages, and Susanna Simon from the Mediator series. Have I considered talking about movies or series or other types of fiction on my channel? I've actually been asked this a couple of times recently and I am doing a video where I talk about adaptations I would like to see. That's coming later this week, I mentioned that earlier, so keep an eye out for that. I'm also hoping to do a video soon recommending books based on films that my family and friends have said are their favourites, but I honestly don't watch a lot of television or film, so I don't really feel qualified to make any other kinds of recommendations, hence why I've asked my friends and family to tell me what their favourite films are, so that I can then recommend books based off those films and it'll work vice versa, but I just don't really consume any other kind of media, which I appreciate will sound very sad to a lot of people, but there it is. What languages do I speak? Well, I speak English, clearly, hopefully. Mas falo português também, which means I speak Portuguese as well, albeit not very well, I need to improve. I am actually half Portuguese, uh, so I've been speaking Portuguese since I was a baby, but it's a little rusty these days. How old am I? I am 29. Uh, what is my favourite book? I have a whole video, don't ask me to narrow it down to one because I can't. Uh, who's my favourite author? Probably Brandon Sanderson, but I also like Alice Oseman and Lauren James and Maria V. Schneider and many others. And that's it! Those are all the questions that I asked. I've been filming for a while now so I will try and include as many of these answers as I can, and probably the moment you've all actually been waiting for. The winner of the giveaway is Deborah from Queen of Historical Fiction. So I have already DM'd you on Instagram, congratulations, I hope everybody will give you a round of applause. I hope that I'll be in a position to do another one of these giveaways again soon, hopefully I'll hit another milestone and be able to run another giveaway for you. This was a lot of fun, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Do let me know your answers to any of these questions if you want to down below. And that's it for this one. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me, then do think about hitting that subscribe button. And I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks. Bye.